I said the amount that I wanted and they gave me more than what I asked for. Hey guys, so I wanted to tell you the story about how I got my current job in tech marketing. March of 2021, I was laid off of the job that I first got when I moved to LA. I didn't expect it to happen. I did for a few months kind of just chill and relax and not apply for job. Around the summertime, I just felt like, you know what? I wanna at least, if nothing else, get a part-time job. And so I was able to find a part-time job. It was good for the time being. I applied for this one job, went through the interview process, and then I got a rejection from that job. And I was so surprised because like, I had such a good interview. Like I sat there with the hiring manager for two hours on a Zoom call, like two whole hours of both of our lives. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I've got this one. And then they gave me a rejection. But then they told me um, they had a position in another department that they'd be hiring for soon in like the near future. And I was just like, soon, near future? That's not definitive at all. But then I did reach out to human resources team who I had kind of like built a relationship with. And I was like, hey, this role didn't work out, but they said, you know, this other one is still looking. She had that one in mind. And she was like, yeah, I was actually gonna like submit you for this one as well. And so I ended up interviewing for that one. The same day that I got a rejection, she set me up with an interview for that position two days later. Did the interview, everything flowed, like it went so well, it was so easy. Um, it just felt like a good fit. And then I talked to another person and then she hired me on the spot, gave me the job, literally was like, you know, I'm just gonna show all my cards now. Everybody loves you, the team loves you. Um, the other person, you know, she was talking about the guy who didn't hire me originally. She's like, he loves you too, so we would just love to have you on the team. And they said an offer letter will be coming soon. And so, um, this is a very important part. They sent me an offer letter with the initial offer. And I knew that I was going to want to negotiate my salary regardless, just because in general companies, they're not gonna like really advocate for you themselves. You're gonna have to do that. If they give an amount and you just take it, they're, they're fine with that. But there's always more. They always have more money than what they're offering you. It's just a matter of if you ask for it, but they're not gonna offer you their highest offer the first time around. And I probably would have just taken the offer they, they had given me if I hadn't talked to two of my friends who had just negotiated more. A couple months ago, one of my close friends recently got a job and then she turned down the first offer, she asked for more. They gave her that offer. Another close friend of mine did the same thing. She got a job a few days before I got my offer. She negotiated for more. I even told my mom about the first friend who negotiated her salary. And then so when my mom just recently got a promotion, she negotiated her salary and they gave her what she asked for. So. If I saw two people negotiate their salaries successfully and told my mom to do the same, she did it, it was successful for her, it just built my faith. I'm like, obviously this is something I'm supposed to do too. So I literally feel like my voice was shaking as I was like <laughs> asking for the salary. You know, I called up and I said, you know, I see this is what I was offered. I'm asking for this much more. I did some research, which was really a Google search to see what like the average, median, and like highest salary was for this particular position. I saw a number that was a little bit higher. So I asked for a little bit higher than what that number was. Um, just like based on like my skill set and based on like my years of experience. And so I said the amount that I wanted and they gave me more than what I asked for because they really wanted me for that position. And so I was so happy. I negotiated my salary. They gave me more than what I asked for, which is like a huge major blessing. And so I am telling this story just to say that you should definitely negotiate your salary the next time you get a job offer because they already really want you. They don't want to go through the process of interviewing more people just like we just just like we get tired of interviewing HR and hiring managers they get tired of interviewing people and just want to bring someone on and get them started too so you know just don't be afraid to ask I just really want to share that testimony of how I negotiated my salary and it worked I've been I graduated from college in 2016 so I've been in like the working world for like over five years now and I this is my first time ever negotiating negotiating my salary. This is my first time ever doing that because I just felt so scared 
Like, I'm like, well, no, if I ask for more, they're not gonna give me, they're, they're just gonna find someone else and they're gonna say no. Like, I was so afraid to say no. And I feel like I could have been making so much more money sooner if I had just had a little bit more courage to ask, learn from my mistakes. If I can do it, you can do it. Just, yeah, just, I really wanna encourage you to not take the first offer you're given. I hope it encouraged you to ask for more, to not take the first offer that's given to you. Have some faith, you guys. Have some faith in you. Have some confidence in your ability. Ask for more, okay? Love you guys. See you in the next video.